The craziest that the crazy downfall of No Jumpers Brick Baby by Adam Twenty Two Podcast is a death rap. Things are getting dangerous over there at No Jumper. And look, man, Brick Baby, one of the LA Crips that's an employee of Adam 22's No Jumper, just crashed out on camera and practically damn near threw his whole life away, man. But before we get into that, make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. Let's get into it. Brick Baby allegedly just got exposed, being caught on a recorded phone call, talking to his ops, and allegedly he dissed one of his friends. Oh, as far as flame, it's like, nigga, don't, don't start a war, bro, when it's not a war. And on 6 so I got the other homie from the hood right here, and then we thought that y'all couldn't hear it, like the audience, right? So I'm like, if I shed light on cuz this is. And it looks like Adam 22 decided to have Brick Baby's friends on the podcast in replacement of him, and it looks like they was talking to Lord Mess behind his back saying that he was scared to come up there brick come up here good get it so come sit so up in your seat good it comes to see that brick baby is ducking no jumper he's spooked and so brick baby being a gangbanger he is decided to show face and come up to the no jumper podcast and this will happen right before he crashed out there he is we're talking brick. about you good at rap yeah, yeah brick. you mother buster come on nigga. now like they weren't just in there talking about him. Right? Man, look, I gotta pause this. One thing I hate, man, is when people be talking greasy about you behind your back, saying you scared, saying you this, this, that, and the third. Then when you pop up, it's all smiles and giggles and right? oh, what's up, bro? What's up, cuz? When they was literally just talking about that man behind his back saying he was spooked out. And this is why I, I don't like street politics, man. Because they smiling you. I ain't going for this possible that that shit is a skit, too. Face all the time trying to take your place, the backstabbers. But let's go. Motherfucker running three day content. What up, nigga? You like hanging like that? Shit. What up? I'm trying to figure out why motherfuckers still running content on a conversation that got leaked from this motherfucker and keep on trying to keep on digging some shit up out my boy. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Dead homies, I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Six so nigga, nigga's energy is what a nigga energy is. Hey, this break. my boy right here. Hold on, no, three days in a row, gang. You been here three days in a row getting that. So for those who don't know, the one with the red is Brick Baby. The one with the blue is DW Flame, who is also a LA Crip. This is the person who it looked like Brick Baby got caught on a recorded call saying some unsavory things about his so-called friend. Adam 22 just got both these guys in the building and it's about to turn up. Ask the same question after we talk. Nigga, I still ain't watched it. I don't know what I said to cuz. Nigga, I was higher than motherfucker. That ain't no excuse, nigga. I know one thing. The first time I asked you, first time I picked up the phone, I said, bro, I could remember one thing only that was derogatory that I said. Did I or did I not? Speak on it. On 6 so Crip. Because y'all digging shit. If a nigga say he ain't gonna watch it, a nigga ain't gonna watch it. And the nigga who leak it is fuck a nigga forever. And any nigga that ride with cuz on the dead homies, it is what it is, nigga. On 6 so Crip, nigga. And me and cuz are crashy niggas together. Or nigga by myself, nigga. On the dead homies. Wherever niggas want to meet, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no HK Turtle. I'm, I'm gonna give you a shout out today, cuz. On the dead homies, nigga. On 6 0 Crip, cuz you a cop, nigga. You the police, nigga. You reach it. Look, speaking of the police, if we on the internet watching this on YouTube, you better believe the police is watching this on YouTube too. This to me is my Facts. opinion. The definition of self snitching, man. Alex Alonzo, this, that, and that, trying to. Yo, by the way, man, I, I don't know if I'm saying I'm butchering your name, but Caliber, I definitely enjoy watching your videos, the edits, and all that shit, man. Your shit is spectacular. You need to teach me how you do it, man. I enjoy your videos. No funny shit. Get your shit off the ground. On the dead homies, you got the address, nigga. To right here, right now, like y'all pulled up the last time, nigga. Niggas pull up. On the dead homies, pull up, nigga. On 6 so, because ain't no 40s coming to the 60s pushing. No issues. Nigga, on roll the 60s, nigga. Ain't near 40 coming to the 60s, nigga. With no type of drama, nigga. Nigga, if you niggas got underlying conditions, nigga, hate the hood, nigga. On West Side Roller, say that, nigga. On the dead homies, because y'all know what it is, nigga. And a nigga play ball. Bitch, the only reason I ain't come outside and kill one of you niggas, because cause I was in front of these white niggas. Dead what? homies, nigga. Bro, he just said the only reason why he ain't come outside and hit one of you niggas up is because he was in front of the white folks. <laughs> Self snitching, bro. And, and why he self snitching? I ain't gonna friend. That's not really sn self snitching because he's speaking on something that didn't happen. Self snitching has to be when you telling on yourself for something that actually happened. Like if you can't, if he came outside and 
clapped at niggas and then say, yo, I came outside and clapped at niggas, da 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 That's self-snitching. But saying what could have happened is, it isn't self-snitching. Adam22 still posted the video. And a nigga played ball. Bitch, the only reason I ain't come outside and kill one of you Why niggas because cause I was in front of these white niggas. Damn, Dead they homies, nigga. Me and the homies would have crashed, nigga. On six so nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that, nigga. Shout out Devil Donut, nigga, in my real 40s, cuz. These niggas 68ers, though, nigga. On six so and this my homeboy, nigga. On the hood. And whatever me and my homeboy gotta go through, nigga, to clear what we gotta clear, nigga, on six so he gonna always be my homeboy, nigga. It don't matter whatever it is, nigga. Nigga, keep on running content on my name, nigga. I'm putting Kill Squad in the street. Ooh. Nigga, on 6 0. Y'all forgot I had Chili, nigga. On 6 0, nigga. Go, go, go look up, nigga. What, what, what shit he worth, bitch? Dead homies. Nah, no, fuck all don't that. Give uh -oh. Don't give him too much. Don't give him too much. No, nigga, I niggas ran content three days I think in that's a row. They saying too much. They mama, nigga. I think that's dead the homies. <laughs> and they kids, nigga. But the energy is what it is, cuz. And on the dead homies, send the link to cuz. On the dead homies, be outside, nigga. Play that shit today, nigga. On SC, nigga. Dead homies, and it is what it is. You niggas, the cops, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. And the nigga who posted the other shit about but me you and the, the cops too, nigga, bro. Cop, Cop ass whack, bitch ass whack, nigga on the hood calling me Mr. AK-47. Bitch, I got open cases, nigga. Nigga, stop playing with me, cuz. Hey, bro, look, look. No disrespect to Brick, baby. All I go for you got open cases, but you saying. <laughs> yeah, nigga be killing me with this shit. <laughs> Yo, nah, this shit get funny sometimes, bro. I ain't gonna front, though. We all have those phases where we get upset to the point where, you know, we say uncontrollable things. And, you know, after you calm down and you think about it, it's like, yeah, bro, I just said some stupid shit. But, like, having experience with certain shit, you niggas supposed to know better. Of the brick baby, I understand what he's going through. But look, man, I got to say this. Bro, you saying how these guys is playing police games and they the cops, but you giving the cops all the evidence, bro. If you got open cases, why you opening up your mouth, bro? Like, you got to... Anyways, you said mm -hmm. look, you said you said enough to niggas, cuz. Bro, that shit got me hot, nigga. He's down though. You mm -hmm. said enough. You said See, enough. This man trying yeah. to help him out. Cuz really, you know, niggas can't even tell who homies at this point. No, like, no, no, but no. Okay. This, this my thing, gang. You know, I love you. This this is what they want, right? So they got look, it, nigga. Use no, a bitch, nigga. So, pull look, up, nigga. Look, nigga, put your gonna, life on the look, line, nigga. But, but look, on six, so put your me, life on the line, nigga. Look, me, I'm gonna your, see all Put your life nigga. on the line. Stop playing for I, know, I already do I it. Know, I, look, stop texting me you. about them, bro. I know, I know, for I already I do know, it, cuz. Bro. Stop stop talking to me about them. Man, cuz I'm sick, so crib. Stop playing with me, cuz. On the hood. Don't nobody tell me nothing, nigga. Don't nobody tell me nothing, nigga. On 6 so stop giving them niggas the address in. Stop giving them niggas the address in. Calm down. So what for y'all who don't know, Brick Baby is a legend that one of the no jumper staff may be putting out the address for his enemies who he's speaking on to actually come out. And this is why he's saying stop giving them the address. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what I'm talking about, about how this no jumper platform is turning into a powder keg. Ready to explode. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me pause it right here, too. You know what I mean? Y'all know I fuck with Adam22. You know what I'm saying? He cool and shit like that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm speaking directly to you, Adam. I ain't gonna front. Like, it's it's all fun and games and it's entertainment and shit. But with this street shit and this gangster shit, like, a lot of niggas take it different levels and shit like that. I know you making content because whatever goes viral makes you money and shit. But you got to understand these people lives on the line. These people, they they going at it over their manhood and shit like that. And you sitting back and you making the bag. You got security. You good. You ain't really got to worry about no street shit. You ain't got to really worry about police on your ass after the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, these niggas, they going back to the hoods. And they, 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 they chilling with whatever sets they in and shit like that. And people watching them on your podcast. Your podcast is a big podcast to the point where it gets a lot of attention. And you feel me? And a lot of crimes can happen based on these podcasts and shit. And then you got to think about it. Like if this man is working at your podcast and shit like that, and then you inviting niggas that is supposed to be ops that really want to put in work on homie nigga now they got the low on him they don't got to pull up to do no podcast they're gonna pull up to put in work you feel me you can't be doing shit like that you know what i'm saying like that shit ain't it bro you gotta really i ain't gonna front adam you gotta tighten up my boy you gotta tighten up i ain't even gonna cap to you my boy you gotta tighten up you heard
And anything could happen at this point. I'm sick, so stop giving them niggas the address either. Stop giving them niggas the address. And yo, Adam, you might hit me and be like, yo, it's not really you and shit like that. But at the end of the day, you got to tighten up with people that work for you too. You feel me? Because they all fall back on you. When niggas say no jumper, niggas automatically think of Adam 22. You know what I'm saying? It's shit different. Like, when, with my podcast and shit, I ain't having, I ain't having niggas working that is ops with certain niggas and then I make the ops come to the podcast so now the ops know where they working at and shit. Like that that, that wouldn't be no shit that I'm doing because nigga it, it it jeopardized the safety of the people that work for me plus it jeopardized my business. You feel me? Plus it jeopardized my brand. Now I look like a line artist. I look like a nigga that, you know, don't give a fuck about nobody but clout. You know what I'm saying? It makes you look bad as an individual and make it worse that you a white individual. People looking at you like, yo, you don't give a fuck. You and you you just want to make money off of these black men who are ready to crash out and do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tighten up, my boy. Calm down, bro. Oh, uh, chill out. I ain't even gonna say too much to you on the on the on the internet though, Adam. I just had to really tap tap it with you real quick in this video and shit, cause I fuck with you and shit. But I'm definitely gonna hit you up outside this shit. You feel me? Word, cause I see where this shit going. Nigga, man, I'm like what? I hope hey. this shit fake. Oh, look, you a part of the security team, nigga? Stop giving fuck niggas the address, nigga. I just told you stop talking to me. While security I'm team. Hey, don't crash out. We're not doing that. Yeah, Gordy. Don't crash out, man. Come on, bro. Don't say nothing. I'm not talking. Niggas got addresses. Niggas got drops on me. Nigga, when I... Yo, watching this video, too, as well, Brick Baby kind of look like he looks up to that other nigga. Because if you pay attention, like, <laughs> I ain't going to front. That's one thing. I always pay attention. To niggas' eyes and niggas' body language. If you pay attention, while Brick Baby keep talking and shit, every time he say some shit, he glint, he glance over to the other dogs. You feel me? He's a lot calmer than me. I seen the other dog in different videos and shit, but you can see he's like a lot calmer. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he got more status than Brick Baby. I don't know what's going on. But you look when he talk to him. Versus when anybody else talk to him, he got a different response. You know when he like, yo, listen, you done said too much. You know, he kind of hesitated before saying something. And then the other big nigga next to him said some shit. And he like, yo, don't talk to me about them. Like he was talking back to that nigga with that energy. And then the next nigga behind the camera said some shit. And he was talking back to that nigga behind the camera and shit. So now I'm looking at it like, yo, maybe the nigga look up to him. Maybe that nigga got some type of status or some shit. The same nigga that he's supposed to be going back and forth with and shit. I dropped my nuts, nigga. Respect it, nigga. Damn. On the hood. Pull the fuck up. Nigga, I be here till nine. Oh, roll it. Hey. You dumb, bro. This a, this a setup to me, man. Uh-oh. Hold up, hold up. Woo! All right, he about to go. He about to go handle his business, man. No statements. This another week of no statements. Hey, he got his he got his daughter. Don't he got his daughter with him? Yeah, he got his baby and all that. He got his daughter with him, bro. Hey, hey, let's hey, change the subject. Change the subject. All right, he got his daughter with him now. Now watch this, right? Now, this is the circle shit that be going on with a lot of niggas, too. Because think about it. If that's your man's in them, y'all have a fallout. Y'all tell him, chill. Y'all don't want him to crash out. Y'all saving face on camera. Yo, chill. Don't crash out. Do -do -do. Y'all watch him get up now, and he going off camera to go start some shit or whatever. Why the fuck y'all ain't get off camera, too, and go stop, bro? Like, yo, listen, man. You bugging the fuck out, nigga. You got your kid out here with you, nigga. Fuck, you care about your reputation more than you care about your kid? Nigga, catch yourself before you wreck yourself. You feel me? That's what you're supposed to do as a nigga. Man, is everybody saying they're comfortable. Cup in hand, all that shit, just chilling. And that's supposed to be niggas' dogs? Come on, bro. Hey. Shout out shout, shout out to Brick. Hey, this episode number nine. Uh-oh. No, Gordy, Gordy, just let them handle that, Gordy. Nah, Gordy, you mean Gordy need the help, cause... Ah, right, Gordy did what Gordy supposed to do. If that's his man's nigga, y'all supposed to get up. You let them handle that nigga. Get up and tell the nigga, yo, listen, man, nigga, if y'all want to shoot the fade, nigga, you know what? Yo, listen, drop your daughter off. We're going to set this up for another time. This is not for the internet, bro. Word, bro. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, Damn. Crashing out, man. Word around the internet streets is that after this situation, your boy Brick Baby crashed out, and they saying allegedly that he beat up one of the security guards. You know what I'm saying? At the place, we don't know. There's no concrete evidence of this, man. But what I really want to talk about with this is this. Look, man, this gang activity is starting to heat up real, real bad in LA it right been now. Heat this up, is man. absolutely no been disrespect to Brick Baby. All love to him. I understand his frustration. In my opinion, bro, I think Cuz is getting set up right now. If you really look at it, you know what I'm saying? His enemy set him up by recording the conversation he got static with all his friends i'm gonna pause you on that caliber i ain't gonna front his enemies didn't set him up he set himself up because why the fuck is you having that type of conversation with your enemies in the first place about one of your mans and all you know what i'm saying he's just fouling out because his character might have been exposed and people looking at him some type of way now. He might be an official nigga as far as putting in work go, but as far as standing on loyalty principles and shit like that, he might not be so official on that end. You know what I'm saying? Because it come out that he's talking about one of his mans to op. Why is an op even... Why you even... Like, like Fab said, don't tell me what niggas told you about me. Tell me why they so comfortable telling you, right? So now in that situation, he's talking to the op. Why the fuck he's so comfortable telling that shit to the op? Is he on some backdoor shit? You know, these are things that street niggas going to think about. Like, yo, what? Why are you even talking to the op about shit like that? Why are you even speaking to the op about me in the first place? Why even say things that, you know, we going to look at you weird for to an op? If you're going to be squabbling with security guards and all that, and you feel a way about the security guards giving an addy and shit like that, whatever you said to the op about your mans, if you felt a way about him, why you ain't squabble with that nigga like that? You know, these are the things that niggas is going to question and shit, you know what I'm saying? But in all actuality, this is not this is not no shot at his character, because I don't know who he is. I don't know what he bought. But I'm watching the video and I'm telling you my perception on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people be trying to save face. Like, oh, now nah, I'm not going to say this because I don't want niggas to be mad at me. I, I really say things. I don't really care if niggas mad at me. You feel me? Because if I said some real nigga shit and you mad at me, it's just obviously you a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And you take it away. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? But in real nigga shit, like I, 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 I have my own perception of how I see things. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be talking to an op. In a certain way about my mans in them. That don't make no sense, bro. Especially DW Flame, you know what I'm saying, who caught a stray from the leak audio call. Then his, 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 some of his homies was talking trash on the No Jumper podcast saying he's scared to come up there. You know what I'm saying? Which is also egging him on to come up there and prove himself. You know what I mean? Then you got the No Jumper platform, which is supposed to be a platform that's supposed to give opportunities for street people and gang members to get off the streets. And it looks like it's starting to spill over into the podcast. So now Brick Baby is also so in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Be a setup for the fall because now they taking his real life issues outside and making it a part of the content. Word. And this is this man's real life. Word. That's his real neighborhood. Facts. Those are his real friends. And those guys that leaked that phone call is his real. I don't know how real their friends is and I don't know. I don't know how real the enemies is and all that shit because it might not be a real enemy if he on the phone with him talking about his homie. And his homie might not have been a real friend if he sat there and let him crash out. Now I'm saying I'm just speaking from my perception of seeing this video. I do not know. So do not quote me on anything I'm saying. I'm just saying based on perception of what I'm seeing, okay guys? Enemies, yet yeah, it's being promoted, you know what I'm saying, recorded and uploaded onto YouTube for content. Right. And so in my opinion, I feel like, bro, Brick Baby is low key being set up by his surroundings to crash out, to do something crazy, to go to jail, or to potentially lose his life, man. You know what I mean? And I don't want to see no black brother fall when he got his whole life ahead of him. It's crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? But look, man, I pray to God that, you know, Brick Baby could wake up see what's going on get himself out of this situation i hope that this is a wake-up call to anybody in the streets to just get out the streets while you can it's not worth your life it's not worth your future man and at the end of the day bro you gotta think because somebody's playing games and a lot of times they're banking on you crashing out losing your cool and losing your life
Yo, Caliber, man. Shout out to you. I love your channel. I'm, I'm subscribed to your channel. I watch all your videos and shit. But it's easier said than done. Like getting out the streets. Like when we watch a lot of people on social media, a lot of people are confused on who really have the money. Like a lot of niggas think the niggas who flossy or the niggas who viral have the money. In all actuality, a lot of these niggas do not have no money management. And a lot of niggas, they don't know how to read contracts properly. They don't have lawyers to read the contracts for them. These niggas be doing a lot of business that they get low ball for. So when you think that they supposed to be making this type of money because you know how the business go and you do the same type of business and you think, ah, yo, they supposed to be making this type of money in all actuality. They're not making that. You feel me? So getting out the hood ain't that easy for niggas. You feel me? And in order to survive in the hood, you you have to remain that lion. You can't change from being that lion because as soon as you try to dumb it down, a hyena going to try to take advantage. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? See, like when a when a lion gets old and he's no longer a part of the pack and shit and he ventures all by himself where he's ready to die and shit, hyena's going to take a chance to go eat a food. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how the shit work in the streets. You got to... You don't got to be the same dickhead and committing crime, but you always got to remain that that line that's ready to defend yourself at all times and shit like that, even if it does involve fouling out sometimes. That's just how it goes. It's sad, but it's true. Everybody don't got the money to just, just jump up and say, yo, I'm out. Feel me? And even if do, people do got the money to jump up and say they out sometimes, they got certain things that kept them in the neighborhood. They might have cases they're fighting. They might be on probation, even though you could transfer your probation. They might be on parole, even though you could transfer your shit. But the hassle of things sometimes keep niggas stagnant. Niggas be like, all right, yo, once I get this done with, then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But in all actuality, sometimes a lot of fuck shit happen in the midst of waiting to, you know, change up your lifestyle and shit. That's how it goes. It's sad, but that's how it goes sometimes. You feel me? Or son.